Hey guys, um, so this is kind of like a bonus video than the last Craftathon. It will be uploaded on the same day as another video, not sure which one yet. And it is going to be a giveaway. So most of the stuff that you see, I will be giving away to one uh, lucky winner. Um, I will mention the details uh, in the in at the end of the video. So um, I'll show you the stuff first. But first I want to start with a small little haul. Um, that I did and then we'll get to what I'm going to uh, send to one of my subscribers so I went to paperworks uh, if you if you've watched um, if you follow me on Instagram and uh, you've probably seen uh, I did some insta stories where I showed you what I got when I got it a couple of weeks ago um, but I thought I'd just show you guys in the video because I got some stuff for a giveaway um, as well so I got duplicates of a couple of things here and uh, because I whatever I really liked and wanted I also got one for you guys so I'm going to show you the ones that I already opened and that I'm keeping and then you will get the uh, unopened packaged versions of that as well as a gazillion other things that I will show you in just a second so I'm going to show you the, the opened ones uh, because uh, so you can see them in detail. So the first thing I got was this craft adhesive lace because it just looks so cool. Um, and you get three pieces, so this is the open version, you get three pieces of uh, lace here and it's adhesive. Um, it's a really cool fabric, I think it would be so cool on like a really like feminine layout or maybe not even, I think it just adds a lot of texture. And it's actually really sticky. I can't wait to use this on a layout. This just seems so, so cool. Um, then this was a kind of I love thing, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it. Um, because I have a lot of bicycle themed things and I don't, I haven't used them yet. So I don't know why I would buy more, especially like this kind of bicycle, which is more for like a circus theme page. And the colors are colors I don't usually work with, but I thought they were so cute, so I just went with it. These are craft wooden embellishments, which basically means basically means they're wood veneer. Um, I think uh, this this stuff was from a French company, if I'm not mistaken, um, because there's like French everywhere here. Yeah, it seems like it's French. Um, so in here you get four pieces, to of this shape and then two of the standard two-wheel bicycle here and I, I should probably take some pictures with my bicycle or something and use these because I think they're so cool and then I am not a huge stamp person but I've been using my stamps a bit more lately it's not like I have a time when they have three sets um, but I saw these and they were so cute and they were like two two euros which is nothing so I Decided to buy them, and if I don't use them, who cares? I can just stare at them since they were so cheap. Uh, they're so cool. So both of these, I think, are from the Nor Pan Prandil, um, um, what is it called? Uh, company, and I think that's a German company. I'm not sure. Yeah, it says Germany back there. Yeah, I think they're both from a German company. Uh, and I thought it was really cute. So these might be more usable than this, but who cares? Um, so this first set here, I haven't opened these yet, um, is a set of three cupcakes. These are acrylic stamps, by the way. They're not acrylic. I don't know. They're acrylic. They're clear stamps anyway. And I think they're the cutest little thing. Look at these cute little cupcakes. Ooh, they're so cute. I need to make, like, not only for scrapbooking, if you're, like, a planner person or a, um... Or a uh, card maker, I think these would be great for that as well because the size of them is just so cute. So there's that stamp set, and then I also got this one with the motorbike because it was just too cool not to buy. Um, so I just got it, and I thought it would be cool to use in my Rome album, like a Project Life page or something, if I f if I ever get around to finishing that Rome album. Um, so I got this anyway. And who knows where I'll use it, but. I thought it was just so cool. So there's that. By the way, does anyone know where I can buy acrylic blocks like to mount the stamps on to stamp them? I don't have any and I just use a ruler or something. So I need to find some um, something like that. So if anybody knows where to, I can buy those in Europe, uh, please let me know. 
So I will be giving you guys one of each of those things as well, just to share the love because I love these items so much. I probably shouldn't be showing you the prices, but <laughs> I don't care. And then I also got um, some things for some next media things that I just got for me. Um, actually, it's more like a family kind of thing. Um, okay, let me just elaborate on that. So first thing, I got some napkins because I've been seeing Inky Quill using napkins everywhere and I thought it would be a fun little challenge and they I saw them there and I thought what the heck um I think the only design that I really love is this one with like the rainbow color but I do like this one as well and the, this is just a nice purple like paisley print this one's a bit creepy looking actually but I do have this new book called Raven Boys it's part of like a series and Maybe I could do something with that. I don't know. I really love this book, by the way. It's an awesome book. I need to get the rest of the series, but I don't know. So I just had those. They were like 25 cents each, so I just picked up four to make one euro. And then I got some mixed media things. So I got these um, Pebel Deco Craft Acrylic Ink. And these, they had two types of acrylic ink, this one and a... a a more expensive one but because I didn't know if I would like it or not I decided to just get the cheaper one and in just three colors to see I think maybe they were four euros each or like 395 or something so I got the colors I thought I would use more often so I got a white because these are quite pigmented and sometimes I want lighter colors most of the time actually so I got a white so I could kind of mix them up and I got the fuchsia that's a nice pink and the I think it's his turquoise, yeah, the turquoise. But they're really, really pigmented, so I don't know how I'm gonna use them. But I've been using the white a lot for um, splatter, like really big splatter, because it has this nozzle kind of thing that uh, you can kind of use to make big splatters. Or I could use them for tinier splatters, but that will require a brush and stuff. So I've been using the, the, this one a lot for um, Lar yikes, large spiders and stuff. Um, and I, I'm trying to figure out how I can use them for backgrounds and stuff at some point. But for now, um, they're just being used for a splatter. So I should open these up and show you how pigmented this is. You see how dark that is? It is. It's a beautiful color. And if you mix this one with the blue, you get a beautiful purple. But it's really rich color. And I don't use so such rich colors all that often, which is probably why I'm struggling I know where to use them. See that color is so, it's just gorgeous. Basically, this is acrylic paint, but in a much more liquid uh, form, I think. Um, it's just called acrylic ink. But if it, if you put, add, if you, if you add a lot of it, it kind of looks like a paint. And then my sister and my mom got some acrylic colors because um, we have a big box full of acrylic uh, colors because me and my sister used to paint on canvases and stuff when we were much younger uh, my sister still does but I have moved on to scrapbooking as opposed to painting um, and because now my little sister is about like seven uh, not about not she is seven um, and they she wants to paint and my sister my uh, middle sister wants to paint as well so she has stores these in her room because they're the colors she picked out and she likes them to use them in like her um this journal and stuff and also I use them as scrapbooking so anyway the paints we had were drying out or we didn't have the right colors so they picked up a couple of colors that I did not know about until we got home and I'm glad they did because I used I, I recently used this on a layout and I, I loved it so um, I think it was accidental that my mom got the uh, iridescent paints so this the, this one is iridescent and this one is iridescent and then these, this one's opaque and this one's semi-opaque. I don't know what that means because I haven't used both of them. Um, but I really like them. So this one's called turquoise and this one is lemon cardium yellow hue. This one's turquoise blue. This one's iridescent green yellow. And then this one's iridescent blue. Oh, yeah, it's iridescent violet blue. So these are all beautiful colors. And I, do, I could do some cool things with the iridescent stuff. But I would have preferred to have the matte um, paints in all of these and instead add iridescent stuff if I wanted to I have like this paste that's iridescent or whatever you want to call it so that is the first part of this video that's kind of like a haul I, I, I think this video is going to go on for like an hour because I have so much stuff to show you guys that I'm going to give away um, so that's the haul video if you're not interested in the giveaway or if you just want to see the details you can skip over to the end 
or just close the video if you don't want to see anything related to the giveaway. But out of that haul, I will be giving you guys, um, well, not you guys, one of you guys, two stamp sets, this wood veneer package, and lace. And now I'm going to show you what else I'm going to be sending you. There's a lot of things that I've had in my stash that I are, are, are new um, or I haven't used recently. So, first thing is this 36 color pencils and um, thing under these tiny little pencils. There's one missing I come right now that I open it, but that's okay. Um, and there's this really cool thing that, I don't know, I don't I don't use them. I think they're really cool and get a wonderful array of colors. Um, so I thought I might as well pass them on to someone that will uh, get good use out of them. I never even use these ones. So there's that. Then I have this stamp set. This is from Tiger and it's the alphabet set. And I, I don't know what these stamps are called. Like they re-ink themselves, I guess you would call them. And it's just a really cool set. I, I, I think I use it maybe once. Um, but it's just not something I reach for all that often and I, I don't think um, it took up too much space to keep if I'm not using. So I'm going to pass it on to one of you guys. By the way, I might add some things um, to in addition to what I'm going to show you guys by the time I send it out. So um, if you get some few extra surprises in there, whoever wins, don't be... Um, Surprise. So this is a, a Technique Tuesday stamp set that's about um, all about food. And I got this from a local scrapbook store in Green Bay. And I had got it because I needed to complete a challenge uh, for last year's July Scrapathon. And I used it once and not, I didn't use it again. And I've only used like the four stamps. So I thought I would pass it on to someone who would use it. I think I should stop explaining everything that I'm showing you guys. Um, so then these are two embossing folders that I happen to get. I don't know. They're called embossing folders. I don't know what they're called. Um, but I think they're using, yeah, they're used for like embossing things. Um, that came with a stencil I got. And I don't use embossing folders. I don't have like an embossing machine or whatever you would use for these. So I thought I would pass them on as well. So this one is a, both of them are florals. I think this one's meant to be more of like a Christmas floral. And this one's just like a spring they're also those are also included in the giveaway and now um here this is a random mismatch that i will package properly do not worry uh, there's a lot of buttons in here i'll separate out the buttons from everything else um there's some um random die cuts some little stickers some clips uh there's like these cute little paper clips that i got from tiger i think they're adorable um there's a whole package of those in there i think and then some um wood paper clips that I really like as well um, and I thought I would make this kind of swag bag with little random embellishments for you guys but I didn't get around to actually making the swag bag so these are some of the things that will be in that swag bag the buttons will be separated out but that is one of the things I'm sending you here's like some um, chipboard that will be added into the swag bag if anybody's interested so the swag bag will be kind of a surprise in addition to everything else there's a lot of paper in here I am warning you Okay, I'm going to break out everything out of this bag. Let's see what is in here. Okay, huge stack, a lot of paper, I'm telling you guys. So this one is a brand new package of Heidi Swap labels that I got in a grab bag from some from the Hip Kit Club, and I thought they would be... Uh, perfect thing to add to the giveaway. Um, I love using labels on, on things, so I thought that would be fun to give this to one of you guys. Um, this is a half package of the Happy Planner Puppy Stickers here. I love these. There were two sheets of these in here. And um, I kept one, and I'm going to give you guys one. These came out of a uh, sticker book from Ikea that you get like 30 sheets. Not 30. It's probably 10. Of each of these patterns so I I tend to use these labels a lot and I just think the ice creams here are really really cool so I thought I would share the love and give you guys some because um, I have too many so I got one of this pattern and then two of these there's that and then this is a bunch of um, sequins I guess you would call them I don't know I don't know what to call these. They're these really cool shiny shapes, and I've used them on a couple of layouts 
um, in the past, but I've had way too many and I don't tend to reach for them all that often now, so there's that. These are also a bunch of like rhinestones and in all different shapes and sizes, so there's like circles, florals, squares. I think these are really, really cool, but um, I think these are so cool. So there's an assortment of all that in this little baggie. Next, I got a huge stack of 6x6 six six paper. So I went through a bunch of my 6x6 six six paper pads and picked out some patterns that I, I really like but I will probably not use. And I thought I would just give them um, to you guys. So there's a lot of 6x6 six six paper here that I'm going to show you. There's stuff in here from uh, Dear Lizzie, Happy Place. Uh, Dear Lizzie, Lovely Day. There is stuff from Fancy Pants Hello Sunshine. And then, oh, there's also stuff from um, Vintage Bliss by Simple Stories. And um, Amy Tangerine Plus One and Amy Tangerine uh, Stitched. So there's a nice assortment of designer 6x6. Uh, pattern paper and then this is it's really thin paper um, I'll tell you that but I don't mind using thin paper as layers I mind using thin paper as a background for a page but not as layers and these patterns are gorgeous I need to remind myself to pull mine out so I got this huge stack of a hundred uh, of these papers that uh, I think you got 10 patterns so that's 10 of each and I'm going to give about half of it to you guys so there's a purple polka dot there's a green polka dot and these are six by six. There's like these Easter eggs. Oh, I think this is so cute. Oh, I love these butterflies. Look at these butterflies. Uh, there's a floral print here. This gorgeous butterfly pattern. These bunnies are so cute. And they actually match the Dear Lizzie Lovely Day collection um, so well. The, the colors and the pattern is really similar. Um, this orange print and the back, by the way, have solid colors. If you don't like the pattern, you can use the back. And I think these will be great in like a traveler's notebook if you're worried about using thin paper on scrapbook layouts. These will be perfect for traveler's notebooks or planners and stuff. These carrots are so adorable. I, I, I love that pattern so much. And the gingham and then this floral. This floral is gorgeous. I love this floral. I need to use this paper pack. I need to get mine out and use it. Oh, I love these. I love this paper. This paper is so cool. So there's that. So that's the 6x6 stuff. Oh, here's a sticker sheet that escaped me. Um, this is a US Say Thim sticker sheet. And I'm going to, I've had like 10 of these and I'm going to give one to you guys. Um, so if you're not a US citizen and don't celebrate the 4th of July, you could still use the stars. Or if you have a, or if you take a trip to the US, you could use the other ones with the, with the, with the, what is it called? Oh my yay like the matte print on it and stuff. I think these are super adorable. So there's that. Then I have some eight by eight paper from a Heidi Swap uh, paper pad and also from a, oh, where was this from? Oh, this is from a magazine. And there's, I had so many multiples of this. I thought I'm never gonna use all of this stuff. So I'm going to give some to you guys. I really love all of these patterns. And this, this paper I think will be awesome in the December daily. Um, I almost used it last year, but then I ended up not doing a December day last year. So this is from Heidi Swap, and then this is something that um, came from a magazine. I love this floral. I cut apart all these floors and I made that uh, made a really gorgeous wreath layout. Um, well, I think it's gorgeous. I'm kind of biased to the fact if it's gorgeous or not because I made it. But I really like how I really really love using this paper. Um, this is a six by eight from a paper pad, and then these are from Tiger. You get these set sets of these which um, are folded like this and unfold there's really cool patterns so there is this polka dot I really like this color scheme here and then this stripe I also have multiples of these here's an A4 sized uh, paper that came in a magazine I think so there is that um yeah, I'm trying to keep everything tidy here. <laughs> okay, 
Then I have some specialty papers. So this is, uh, I don't know, it's kind of glossy. So there's this stripe and then this stripe. I really like this green color. And then I have some uh, glitter papers. These are from um, a paper pad from Little. So in here is most of the paper pads. So yeah, that, so the one side has glitter accents to it and then the other side is the same pattern but plain. So you could use either or on these. A border strip. This, I think this is a beautiful, this is a gorgeous paper for like a wedding picture. But I'm not going to any wedding soon. I'm certainly not going to be in, be part of a wedding anytime soon. So there's no reason of me holding on to, to that. Um, if I have wedding pictures, I can just buy a wedding a collection when the time comes. Because I'm 16. I'm not getting married anytime soon. All of my uncles are married. All of my relatives are married. So I don't think there will be a wedding anytime in my future soon. So. Um, there's no point of holding on to Ooh, I think I just got a paper cut. Great. Okay, now here I have a huge stack of A4 size paper from Tiger. So when you buy a Tiger paper pad, you get 40 sheets, I think, so and 10 patterns. So that means four of each pattern, which is more than I will ever use. So whenever I get a paper a new paper pad from them, I go through and take out um, a couple of sheets of each pattern to put in a giveaway drawer which then goes into a giveaway, like so, for the July scrap -thon. So this, these couple first ones were in a Christmas paper pad. I'm going to just kind of pile them up here. Um, from a Christmas paper pad. Uh, not all, I mean, you could use some other for things other than Christmas. This heart pattern, I have so much of this heart pattern, I just absolutely adore it. So here's another one of those um, things that unfold that I showed you earlier. And this one, I think this one is also from that, um, no, actually this was from like an everyday geometric kind of thing. There's a lot of geometric papers from Tiger. So here's another one that unfolds. I love this purple and turquoise kind of combination. And there's two of these sheets. Then this one is actually from a German a paper pad that my parents went to Frankfurt a couple of years ago and my mom found the this paper pad and she brought it to me and she bought one for me. And these are from Tiger. And this paper pad was one of my favorites from them. I've used the pattern so much. Um, here's one of the ones that unfold. Last pattern here, I absolutely adore this pattern. Then there's some really cool bold black and white patterns like this one. So there's a lot of geometric stuff, like here, this one. This one's one of my favorite patterns. Um, I also had it in mint green, but I've used it all that up. <laughs> and uh, really like, I really like this color scheme. So lots and lots of paper options. These are thin again, but um, I personally don't mind. Um, so if that's something that you don't want, then uh, so here's a lot of, so I have a whole package of these foldouts in here. I just had opened it to put in my, to, so I can store it easier, but it's a whole package from Tiger. But they're just intermixed with reading patterns. So see, for this one, this was, this part was in the package, but then, where's the folding part of it? Yeah, this one was in the package, but then this one was in a paper pad. This cloud paper is also one of my favorites. Then I'm going to go into a newer paper pad that I just bought in April when I went to on my school trip to Greece that I have a whole video for. Um, so there's a lot of paper from there and I really like this color combination. Like the red with that blue is really cool actually and the green. Um, I still haven't used this paper pad because I've been using my kits but um, I'm planning on using uh, it for a couple layouts soon. So um, I will have layouts using all, most of this stuff that I'm giving you guys. Um, probably I'm going to try to have some in August, so if you want to take some inspiration, if the winner wants to get some inspiration, make layouts, they can. I love this yellow stripe. This is gorgeous. There's this pattern again. This is a gorgeous pattern. This pattern, I absolutely adore this pattern. It's so cute. With like the, and the color is, is, is awesome. This is really hard on the eyes, but I think it will be good for um, matting things. Here's another geometric square triangle thing. And then last but not least, I got two of these. So that's all the A4 sized paper. 
Let me get these two. Okay. Lots and lots of paper. And then these are from a strawberry themed paper pad that are 30 by 30 centimeters. So I think um, if this is a 12 by 12 here, um, it's maybe 11 by 11, like something of the sort. So there's a bunch of different patterns in here. And now we're getting into the stuff I'm most excited to give you guys, just because I think they're more well known to than the stuff from Tiger and stuff. But I do really like working with these things and they're easily accessible to me here in Cyprus. Um, I can just go to the store and see if there's a new paper pad out that I can work with. And I think if you're in else, other places in Europe other than Cyprus, um, it's easier to find such things at Tiger just because people outside of Cyprus tend to scrapbook more. So this is one of the things I'm most excited to give away. It's a full collection pack. And I absolutely adore collection packs. I use them all the time. So this one is from Carta Bella. And it's called Car Travel Stories. Designed by Karina Gardner. It's not necessarily new. But I really, really like it. So you get all these cool patterns. And then you get a sticker sheet. And I did go ahead and cut apart the cut aparts. Because um, uh, I thought I was going to use this for a layout. I originally bought it. Um, for me to use kind of like on the I don't know if I'm going to use it I love the patterns that's why I bought it because I love the patterns so much but I found that was kind of hard for me to use the um, it's just kind of more of a it's not it's not what I normally use on layout so I kind of find it hard to use so I just decided to give it to one of you guys because um, I'm sure someone could find a better use for it than sitting in my closet so <laughs> I did cut out cut apart the cut apart um, so I hope, and the back was a nice stripe, so I'm sorry guys if you wanted, if the winner wanted to use the back, um, but there's some really bad, this cut apart, I love, love, love this cut apart, I need to take a picture of this and like make my own, <laughs> I, I really like this, and I travel a lot, um, so it's fun for me to give someone a travel collection. So that is the most the thing I'm most excited to give one of you guys is that. And then I have some loose 12 by 12 paper from designer um, places as well. Uh, American designers, I should say. So this is from Amy Tandrine. This is thick, quite thick paper. Uh, and if you follow me, you know that I love Amy Tangerine. And it's paying me to give away some of my favorite patterns from Amy Tangerine. Um, this is from the Better Together collection. But I had two of some of these papers and I thought I I could spare a paper to give to someone and share the love. <laughs> and then this one is from the Cartabella Summer Loving Collection. I really like these, these 50 looking sun shades, but I know I wasn't going to use them. And then this one is from the Summer Day Dreams um, by Photoplay and you get these cool, I really like this pattern, it's really, really cool. And then I have some um, animal print ones. I think these were from Joann's. And then these are from a Diecast with a View uh, paper pad that I um, really like. I really like this stripe one. This one is, I really, really like that pattern. So that is a 12 by 12 papers. And then I also have, this is um, from that same, it's from Paperworks, a store that I bought the, the this stuff from. But I got this a couple of years ago. But they still had it when I was there the other day. Um, and I've used, uh, I think, one sheet. Uh, maybe two. But it's pretty much intact. So you get two of each of these patterns, except for the ones that I might use. And I did go ahead and cut apart the die cuts that were included. You just had to punch them out. So they're all thrown in here. And it's a really cool music collection. Um, like I really like this paper and this one. I really, really adore this one. But I... I'm done playing, I, I mean I finished my guitar courses, my sister finished her piano courses, there's not going to be any music uh, pictures really, maybe, I mean I do still play guitar, but there's not really going to be a lot of scrapbooking layouts about um, music things I think for me anymore, so um, I thought I would give this a new home. So I think that's about it, as I said I might add some things because I'm planning to go to a um, 
another kind of stationery store that occasionally has scrapbooks and stuff, so I might buy a couple things from there as well to add to this giveaway. Um, but I think it's a good giveaway. There's stickers, there's sequins, there's paper, lots, too much paper maybe. I, these are one, I really love these. These are so cute. There's embossing, there's stamps, there's something for anybody in here. So there's that. That is a giveaway. Nope. I also have the newest stuff. So also I'm going to add things to that swag bag. Um, here are a couple of bows that might end up in that swag bag. So that is what I'm going to send to one of you guys. So now for the details about this giveaway, I will, it will start on, what's the date today? Let's see. I think it's the 17th. So I'm going to probably upload it tomorrow. So the, 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 the giveaway, you can enter the giveaway from the, let's say, let's say from 12 p.m. Eastern European summertime. Not 12 p.m., 12 a.m. of Eastern European summertime of the 18th of July. Up until, I'm going to leave it open until the, I'm going to say 3rd of August. Again, 3rd of August at 12 a.m. EEST. I should probably write that down so I don't forget. Um, 12, yeah. 12 a.m. EEST on the 3rd of August. And it is open only for people that live within the EU or have a shipping address within the EU um, because of the shipping. I, I Last year I had it open internationally because I was in the States for a bit, but this year I am not going to go to the States, so I can only afford to ship to people within the um, within the EU. So sorry for everybody else. I might I'm, I might do another giveaway that will be open for international people, but I'm not promising anything. We will have to see. Um, but this giveaway here is open to people only that live, or I can, people that I can ship this stuff to in within the EU, and that way they don't even they don't have to pay um, customs or uh, sales tax either. Um, well, mostly customs because they're not gonna they're not gonna buy anything. <laughs> but if I were to ship to out of the EU, they would probably have to pay customs as well. So anyway, if you are within the EU um, and you would like to win this stuff, what you have to do is leave me a comment below. Uh, tell me about what you would like to see on my channel. Oh, actually, no, let's keep it simple. Just leave me a comment below saying anything you want and um, if you're leaving a comment for another reason that has nothing to do with the giveaway just tell me that you would not like to be entered in the giveaway so because I was rambling a lot there I'm gonna restart the whole all the details so um, the giveaway will be open from the 18th of August not oh, sorry Let's start again from the 18th of July at 12 a.m. EEST, which is Eastern European Summertime, um, and it will close at 12 a.m. EEST on the 3rd of August. So anything, any comments after that will uh, not be entered for the giveaway. And this is open to only applicants, to only people that I can ship this stuff within the EU. So if you don't live there but you have a shipping address, um, or something where I can ship it in the EU, then uh, by all means, um, feel free to enter. And uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, oh, the way you enter, of course, is by leaving me a comment about anything you want. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I would like to thank all of my subscribers for supporting me the past two years um, on my YouTube channel. Um, I could not, I, I just couldn't be happier with the support and uh, comments and likes you and subscribes you guys all give me. So um, this wouldn't be able to happen if it weren't for you guys. So thank you guys so much. Um, and I'm so excited to be able to give one of you um, all this stuff that I've been, that I've used on multiple occasions to create. It's stuff that I love to create with. Um, and I'm just so happy to share it with you, uh, with you guys. So. 
thank you so much for watching. I will announce the giveaway winner a couple of days after the after the the deadline is up, and uh, then the person will know. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.